Yo. Fix my hair. So I was driving around with my scooter, this little guy here, and I stumbled across this little cabin. So this is where I'm gonna film my video today. Back when I was in Toronto, I went for a stroll in the streets and I came across these two locations. And I think they look pretty cool because there's a lot of light to play around with. So that brought me to the idea to do a little photo shoot there. What I usually do to find a model is I either go on Instagram and ask photographers that are from that city if they have any models they would recommend, or I go into the hashtags and I type in, for example, now this time, Toronto model. And then you come across a lot of models and that's how I came across my gorgeous model, Asha. I sent her my idea with the photos of the locations and she was in, so that's when we started shooting. Since the first location had neon signs, I really wanted to use my little prism. It's so much fun to use because it creates such awesome reflections and especially when you use neons, you can just really spice up your photos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bam. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so sick. And this one is pretty cheap. I linked it in my description if you want to find it. It's going with me anywhere. As you can tell, I dropped it a fair few times, so it's actually dangerous to use it because I've had a few... <laughs> because I've had a few cuts in my hand because of this thing, but I refuse to throw it away. I started off by using the light of the neon sign, but quickly I already saw that my model wasn't really standing out in the photo. So that's, who almost smacked myself. <laughs> so I decided to use this little bar to make Asha stand out a bit more in the photo. And a little tip is to bring your friends along to a shoot because they can hold your light, which is just such a weight of your shoulders because you don't have to think about it. So I asked my friend Lamont to place this light a bit more from above to make Asha's face evenly lit. During the shoot, I asked Asha to play around with her hands above her head or onto the window because that way you create angles in a shot and it makes the photo a bit less flat. So it creates a bit more depth in her photo. So after I got all the shots I wanted, we went on to the next location. And that was this little parking lot paying pole thing. I don't know how to call it, but it just looks very awesome because of the green light and the neon sign. And I thought it would be cool to add a little pop of color with the color red because I feel like the green and the red work really well together. And same as for this location, I still wanted my model to pop out in a photo, so I mounted this little light tablet on my camera, so it was creating an evenly lit face. And then I asked my friend Lamon to hold the other light bar with the color red, just pointing it a bit more from below to create a red glow in her face. And I also decided to add my prism again because it fills in some blank space I had in the photo. And as you can see, it spices up the photo just a lot more. Yes! That was a one. Nice! It's good. High five! Do a, do a. And that wrapped up the shoot, and that's also when I started editing. Because there's a lot happening in the photo with all the reflections, the neon sign, the street, I used a lot of masks. And by doing this, you can really draw back the attention to your subject. And as you can see, this is without masks, and this is with masks, and it just makes the biggest difference. And the neon sign made it so much fun to edit these photos because you can really manipulate the color of the sign. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you learned something new. And if you have any questions about my editing process or the shooting process or whatsoever, just ask your questions down below. And I really want to thank you for all the support I've had on the past three videos. This has been the warmest welcome on YouTube ever. And yeah, just makes me very happy. And I'm so excited to create more videos. So thank you so much for watching. And I also hope to see you in my next video. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Doei.